Webster City wrestlers are coached by Chad Hisler, Tyler Patton, Billy Bertrand, and Joel Kennedy. They'll be going up against the Ballard Bombers tonight. Sophomore 106 pounder Cam Fettenfong will be in the lineup Good tonight. Good evening. Webster City High School welcomes you to Webster City Compton. They'll be competition gym for tonight's meet. The Webster City Community School District encourages positive behavior, pride, respect, leadership, and sportsmanship on the mat and in the stands. Remember what a great privilege it is to see your team compete. Thank you for your, your attendance and enjoy the meet. Now tonight's starting lineups. At 106 for Ballard will be a forfeit. For the Lynx, Cameron Fetzenpalm or Kyle Ghost. At 113 for the Bombers, Luke Hartsook. For the Lynx, Braden Henley. At 120 for the Bombers, Lane Collier. For the Lynx, Reese Sadler. At 126 for the Bombers, Jordan Thomas. For the Lynx, Ryan Zetlaw. At 132 for the Bombers, Thompson Harrison. And for the Lynx, Chase Rattenberg. At 138 for the Bombers, Gage Long. And for the Lynx, Austin Mason. At 145 for the Bombers, Wyatt Berg. And for the Lynx, Nick Gaska. At 152 for the Bombers, Alex Bangs. And for the Lynx, Evan Eslin. At 160 for the Bombers, Gabe Christensen. And for the Lynx, Cole Bingham. At 170 for the Bombers, Nate Nessa. And for the Lynx, CJ Hissler. At 182 for Ballard, Mason Eskelson. And for the Lynx, Truman Klein. At 195 for the Bombers, Brady Ayersman. And for the Lynx, Dylan Burnett. At 220 for the Bombers, Jack Chisholm. For the Lynx, Broden Miller. And at 285 for the Bombers, Riley Davidson. And for the Lynx, Trey Shannon. Would you now stand and remove your caps as we play the national anthem?
Tonight's match will start at 106. Six. For the links, Kyle Ghost receives four points. As we may go up and bump Cam to the 113 spot. Uh, Ballard has to show. They bring out a 113 pounder. Luke Hartsook. For the Lynx, Luke Cameron Fetzenbaum. The first match of the night. At 113, we have Cam. Cam's a short little guy, able to get low, and he throws him on his back right away. Got him in a headlock position. Trying to flatten him out around his shoulders. And he's getting him stuck to the mat, squeezing. 113 of Ballard. He's counting all the lights he sees up there at the top of the roof. And Cam with the first pin of the night. Not even halfway through the first period, and he got it. Brayden Henley will be our 120 pounder for the night. Hot start for the Lynx. We start off 12 and 0 for team points. At 120 for Ballard, Lane Taylor. For the Lynx, Brayden Henley. Lane Taylor for Ballard at 120. Rocking what appears to be a little baby mullet. Brayden Henley's a freshman, new upcomer. Making his first home start for the Lynx. Braden looks and finds a shot. Doesn't like it, so he just gets in on a little pump. Braden circling around. Very light on his feet, and he gets a shot. Got the leg. There's two. Controlling the arm. Braden working on a little half. Gets, his, gets him rolled over. Stuck. Lynch will start off 18 to 0. First pin for Braden Henley in a Lynch singlet. Here comes Ryan Zutla at 126. At, one, at 126 for the Bombers, Jordan Thomas. For the Lynx, Ryan Zetlaw. Jordan Thomas for the Ballard Bombers. Starts off right. Very physical, heavy hands. More up and down. Not a lot of movement with the feet to start off this match. A lot of heavy hands. Jordan gets in on a leg on Zutla. I hear Zutla in class. He's been starving, not being able to eat much to get down to the 126 spot. Let's see him pay it off here.
Ryan works from a base. Pat and tell him Ryan to move his hips, move his hips. And he gets up, gets out. That's how you take your coach's word for word for action right there. It's two and two to two right now. Ryan Zula the junior. Snaps the arms. Steps and a throw. Gets him right at the edge of the mat. Retains possession with his toes on the inner circle. Rather, Thomas is out and he gets him stuck. Ryan, was it worth not eating? I bet so. Gets a pin. First varsity pin. Way to go, Ryan. Here comes Rattenberg for the 32 spot. Make sure he's all tied up in his shoe. And 132 for the Bombers. Thompson Harrison for the Lynx. Chase Rattenberg. Thompson Harrison of the Ballard Bombers. That's two last names. Chase and a five second takedown. I blinked and I missed it already. It was a blast double. I got a front row action right to Chase as he's working on his head. And he's gonna let him get up. It's two to one. Chase find another shot. Chase very quick on his feet. There he goes. That's another two. Four to one. Chase looking for an arm. Last double's a killer. Pushes him forward. Oh, a little. Ball and chain. which is the chicken wing. And he squeezes. Troy, get that photo. It's a nice photo right there, Troy. Squeeze, Jay, squeeze, and he gets it. Five matches through, although one was a forfeit. It's 30 to O's for the Lynx. Austin Mason for 138, another freshman. Got a very young lineup in tonight. At 138 for the Bombers, Gage Long. For the Lynx, Austin Mason. We, had a, we have a total of just three upperclassmen in the starting lineup tonight, the rest being sophomores and freshmen. Got a big dynasty show show here for the Lynx. Austin Mason gets out of bounds and they're gonna center right back up. Here goes Austin, working on the arms. Heavy on the head. His opponent from Ballard is more flat-footed, if you notice. That's right, he needs to be circling. Control the arms and he goes in for a little single, he's gotta win it. Don't let him ride you out. This is hard on the, hard on the single leg takedown. No points yet, he flips him. Austin Mason's tough, he's a scrambler. Got two points red to Ballard. Go Austin. Let's create some movement down at the bottom. Work his way from base. Got 
that was a first period. That was our first time tonight that we got through a full period, actually, for these Lynx wrestlers. They say they want to watch Thursday Night Football tonight. Get the show over with uh, Lynx W. Goes to Mason on another shot. I think he's got to spend more time circling, setting up his shot. His opponent's deep, deep in the cross face. Austin's got to get his head and hips up and work out to the base position. He's got his head straight to the mat. It's not very good. He's in a bad situation. Use them legs, Austin. Use them legs. Uh oh. He's in trouble. He's going to bridge. Bridge, bridge. He's stuck. That's okay, he's just a freshman. He's got a lot of come by and a lot of go through before he takes that big step to the senior leader position. Here's Nick Gaska. At 145 for the Bombers, Wyatt Borg. Ever since for the Nick Lakes, and Chase Nick were. Gaska. Ever since Nick and Chase were freshmen, I haven't missed a single varsity starting spot whether that goes to a meet or a duel or anything. Nick taking a lot slower of an approach against his opponent. He tries, tries almost too early of a cradle. His opponent almost scores, but they scramble to the top, working on arm position. Nick is a lot more of a lax wrestler, not using much of his feet to move, but more power, and there he goes on a cradle. Got to tip him, tip him like a cow. Get up on the leg. And this position right here is where he's squeezing the absolute turds out of him. Soon we'll see the prey turn red and possibly even see whatever his lunch was. Luckily for him, he was stuck and got the pin over before he could Get some icky mess on the mat. At 152 for the Bombers, Alex Bangs. For the Lynx, Evan Eslin. Alex Bangs versus Evan Eslin, sophomore out of Webster City. Immediately hit, got a heavy hand. Alex did. A lot of aggression from the start. Evan looking to find a corner, leaving a foot out to dry. Good flyaway, good defense, but he circles around him. Scramble, scramble. Let's see, get it in on a little Turk, Turk. No point scored. Lord would have had it if they were in the center, but he worked his way out, and we're at the center now. Evan with a nice little defensive counter. Heavy on his head. Don't let him get it the leg. Evan with a hard fight had to give it up before he got thrown into a dangerous pinning position. Got a lot of firepower tonight. Breaks down, got some heavy pressure right in the back of his shoulder. Slide up, Evan, slide up. He gets his leg in, in a tough position. Leg locking. Here comes cross face cradle. Evan in a dangerous spot with 20 seconds left in the period. And just base it out, not let anything come of it. 
As Ballard, Alex looks to find back points. He's gonna get it. Don't give up, you got four seconds, Evan, don't give up. There's period. The two back points, leaving the score to be four to zero. Alex chose down to start the second period, meaning Evan will have the third choice in the final period. The second choice, rather. Here goes Evan working on the arm. Break him down before you put him in a position to stick him. I got him to his feet. There he goes. Work your magic, Evan. Down five. Three quarters. Three quarters. Hasn't given up yet. Give him hell. 7 0. He's going to have to get a big deficit here if he would like to come back, whether a reversal or a throw. Alex really cocked his arm back on that cross face. Fight it, Evan. Fight it. Don't go. Peel it. Trying to get him to the back again. Evan getting squeezed, 20 seconds left, found himself in the exact same position last period. Flip back over, Evan, flip it. Short time, short time. Crowds on his side. Evan calls neutral in the final match. Possibly looking for a throw here. As he works his shoulder again, and he another shot. A loss of energy kind of led to that shot. He's working hard all match to not give it the pin. If Evan can just hold on and at least not give it the pin, that'd be very, very beneficial to the Lynx. He's not gonna give up early though. Get one. Let's go, Evan. Get one. Slide up. As Ballard chance gets three for the tech. Don't roll, don't roll, Evan. Fight it. Fight it. bad position here. Unless he can get him straight to his back, I believe that'll be a tech fall. That'll be a tech with just 30 seconds left. That's the right. Evan with a hard fought battle against Alex Hooks. Here's our 160 bout. Coming for the Lynx, Cole Bingham. At 160, for the Bombers, Gabe Christensen. For the Lynx, Cole Bingham. Here's Gabe Christensen with the double knee pads. Pretty evident sign of a blast double coming. Cole very aggressive, pushing him straight out the circle. Let's go. Cole working the trip as he trips himself, but rolls through and gets him. Cole looking tough, sharp, ready. 
It's a war. Mamba mentality. 36 to 11. Lynx are ahead in team points. A little headlock trying to bring Cole down, but Pierce Cole has got his leg right behind him. The takedown is called for Ballard. Oh, Cole just barely out. He got the one. He got an escape. Here's Cole working on his head, just pulling him straight down to the mat. It's going to be sore tonight from that over in Ballard. Scramble, scramble. Don't give it up, Cole. Ballard got the two. Take down. Keep going. Keep circling and they'll have two for the reversal. Got only 15 seconds left in the match, and he gets it. That's the link spirit. Pounding through. Oh, don't let him out. Don't let him out. None. Three to four. Screen choice. Go to Cole Bingham. She's down. He wants the points. Confident he'll get up and score. Yeah. <laughs> oh, danger. Too much work on the head. Cool on bottom again. 152 remaining. A little high on you, Cole. Just shake him off you. There you go. Use them legs to bridge yourself up. Little tripod. Here goes. Go through the back door and get it. Oh, and Gabe's getting the back points. Oh, he's down. Got him with his legs. No hands, no problem. He's looking to pin him. Cole's got to continue to roll through, and he gets the reversal. There's Cole. Now he's a little high in a similar position as Gabe. It's three to seven. A lot of scrambling. That's where the te technique comes Give in. Give it up. Just don't go to your back, Cole. Dale Mate. Up and out. You can do it, Cole. You can do it. Gets both his shoulders down. As Cole looks at the bridge, even though his legs are inactive. Pulls away, slammed on his side. He didn't like that. Be tough, Cole. Let's get it. Three to ten. First step is out. Start of the final period is three to ten. Ballard.
Cole getting his arm worked on. Got a technical violation giving him an extra point after he stood up, or rather right before. Bringing it three to 12, I meaning he'd need a major throw or pin to get him right on his back. Side's really hurting Cole, you can tell. Billy's telling him to go west. And he refuses and goes east. <laughs> Cole got tossed to his back. He's got to fight it if he wants it. If he wants it, he's got to fight hard. to 16. Don't give up the tech. We can't have that now. Stuck again and gets back to his back. And a pin would just be worse. He's got to fight it. Oh, Cole is tight. It's looking as if he's giving up. He can't give up. Come on. Use him legs. Right leg. He got it. We fall in these past three rounds. We gotta get some motivation. TJ Hissler up next for the 170 bout. At 170 for the Bombers, Nate Nessa. For the Lynx, CJ Hissler. Another freshman you're seeing in tonight, CJ Hissler. CJ, tough defense. Having him fill CJ out. A lot of rough wrestling here. Here goes CJ. He's got the inside lock on his arm. He gave it up. A lot of head movement, get out of there. Let's create some movement by just circling and using our hands, pulling, driving. CJ's heavy on the head. It's not letting him get that takedown. Oh, a big slam, brought him up high. CJ's a toughie. Shook him up for about a second or two. Now he's fine, right back into it. Instead of that being two points for Ballard, that goes to one point to us and we start back up in neutral. So we're off and ready to go. CJ's probably feeling the firepower after that really woke him up. Quick to his feet. Use them thunder thighs, CJ. Throw them. Show them that work you put off in the weight room. That's the end of the first period. Go, CJ. If you were wondering, no, that black eye from CJ was there before the match started. Here goes CJ working on the outside. Work the arms, CJ. Work the arms. Grab 
tie game, tie match, one to one. A match that feels like it's either gonna end by someone getting thrown or just right down to the wire. As we're halfway through the second period. CJ's flat on his feet. Do something, control it. Let's go. Touch and go. Let's go. No, Nate Nessa is not wearing a swimmer's cap. He just has a heavy lock of hair that he didn't want to cut that he's hiding under all that. He's oh, almost at the headlock. Finish out the period. It'll be one to three. As we go into the final period of the match. CJ's down. Show him the fire, CJ. Looks like CJ tried standing up before he got control of the hands. CJ looking a bit gassed. Let's go, CJ. Break that. Don't let him use you like that. Break it. Break it. Work your way up, CJ. Don't let him. Don't let him flip you. Two left in the match. CJ's free. Push him over. Give him a little cross face. Show him what your elbow to show him what your wrist tastes like. Oh, and nothing. CJ had it. Let's go, CJ. A minute to go. Let's go. CJ, you're free, just turn free. Okay, let's get the takedown. What you got? CJ working on the headlock, and he gets it, but he rolls all the way through. CJ got one, they let him up. Let's go. Show him who you are, CJ. It's three to five, need a takedown. Got 25. You got him down to one knee. Break him down. Take your shot. Let's go, CJ. Now or never. Let's go. Nate Nessa gets a takedown. Last second to go. Didn't give it the major. CJ, a great match to watch. Very entertaining. Lynx have given up 20 unanswered points. At 182 for the Bombers, Mason Asklinson. For the Lynx, Truman Klein. Let's go, T. Klein. We're at 182 now. Meaning we have four total matches left. Truman getting the work right on his head. Show him his boss, T. Nate 
Mason Askelson controlling his hips well. Truman's got his head straight down the mat. He's got to get his neck up, look up, come up. Go T, don't let him flip you, don't let him flip you now. He's got both of his arms up in a lock. This is where you use your legs to circle around. Power through, don't let him get it T. Ah, oh, T stuck. 36 to 26. The Lynx have fallen in a slump, it's not looking too hot right now. 195. And 195 for the Bombers, Brady Ayersman. For the Lynx, Dylan Burnett. Dylan Burnett. This is Brady Ayersman of the Ballad Bombers, 195 class. Very similar build to these boys. Brady is a junior going up against our yet another freshman tonight in the starting lineup for the Lynx. Work it. Lynx are going to have to find another W to win tonight this duel. of the stuff. Dylan's got his chin strap right over his mouth. Something he probably should have got done taken care of at the beginning of the match to adjust. Still good. Don't give up the pin now. Roll through. Don't give it up. There you go. There you go. Work your legs. Work your legs. Let's go. Let's go, bud. Four to zero. Don't go to your back now. Roll through it. You just got eight seconds. Come on, roll through it. Don't give it up. Let's go, Broden. We're going to need something. 36 to 32. Lynx just have a four point lead. They've Give up 32 on answer. At 220 for the Bombers, Jack Chisholm for the Lynx, Broden Miller. He's fired up, he's ready to go. He wants to take the Bombers out and give him the lead back. Jack Chisholm's got a lot of length on Broden. Broden's more of a, Broden's tall, but he's more of a stock to build compared to Jack. Heavy, heavy hands. Work it, work it. Lost his headgear. The ref kicks it out of the way. Bro, don't let him go, bro. Don't let him go. Keep circling. Keep circling, buddy. Keep circling. Come on, bro. Push on his head, push on his head, don't give it up. Go, Shannon. Final match of the night. It's 
36 And at 285, for the Bombers, Riley Davidson. For the Lynx, Trey Shannon. Got the all-white shoes. Come on, Trey. Shannon the Sandman, let's go. Wrestle your match, Trey. Trey's in on a single, let's go. Get down, squeeze, don't let him go. Use them legs, Trey, don't give it up. You got a circle. Don't give it up, don't give it up. Keep going through, keep going through. He's got it. He's got a train. Oh. It's getting loud. Trey with the reversal. Ah, put him on his back. Let's go. He's back. Kick free. Kick, leg, kick your leg free. Stick him to the mat. Half Trey. Use them big old hips of yours, Trey. Squeeze, Trey, squeeze. He's going, you just gotta squeeze. Don't get too high. It's two to two. And he gets it to roll through. Get off your back, Trey, get off your back. He's getting the back points. Use them legs yours. down right to the end and I think if Trey just didn't give up that reversal he really would have had it. It's been Hank Ambrose covering your Web City Lynx first dual meet first dual home meet of the season. I'll be back with you for when the boys and girls basketball team plays a home the following week. Link should be proud. They fought hard tonight, very hard. Next time, we'll have you out, and I'll be your play-by-play -play announcer for the boys and girls basketball game. This has been a very fun and entertaining duel to watch and cover, and I'm excited for what our boys can bring for the rest of the season. Like I said, many, many times we have a very young core. I've been Hank Ambrose signing out tonight for your Lynx fans.